Hey guys, Anastasia Gurus here. So I hope you are ready for a killer total body workout. We're going to be working mostly focusing on our side body, which means waist, our legs, arms, but your entire body will get a workout. Your core uh, is going to be on fire, your back, everything. So um, it's going to be a really fun workout for you, but it's not going to be easy. So this, I would call this is more like intermediate, advanced, Pilates inspired workout. If you feel that it's too much for you, I also have level one workout that will prepare you to progress to this one. I will link to it in the description below. And uh, make sure to start with that one if this one feels like too much. So a couple of warnings, uh, word, words of caution. We're gonna be on our hands um, and knees a lot. So make sure if you have any knee issues that you know of, get a knee pad. If your wrists get tired, if um, it's just not a good position for you, go to the level one workout. I will also show some of the variations. Or uh, another thing, I will also break down this workout into four segments. So after each segment, you can take a break. You can stop this workout, just finish with a stretch or do something another one of the workouts so that your wrists can uh, take a little break. So let's get started. If you're on a hard floor, I always like to roll my mat, double it up, that way it makes it a little easier on the knees and my wrists. Uh, we're gonna get started with our level uh, set one. This is gonna be the warm up. Uh, our set two is gonna be let's kick it set. Let, set three is gonna be the superstar. And set four is going to be your creepy set. And you'll know why they're called that way once we get there. So getting started with a few good warm-up stretch, warm-up set. I'm going to roll my mat over here. Your kneeling position, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. You have about fist distance between your knees over here. Take an inhale. On the exhale, pull the stomach in and up without any movement in your back and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale keep your neck long you're already finding length through your spine so you're reaching out through the tailbone reaching out through the crown of your head good now go ahead and lift one of the feet so for me it's my right foot off your knee stays down you're gonna look to tail well you're gonna look at your foot from one side, look at your foot from the other side. You're going to wiggle your tail, wag your toe, little happy wag. We're warming up our um, obliques and our lower back. Let's switch to the other side, lift the other foot up, the knee's still down, look at your tail from one side, look at it from the other. Just let your pelvis and your rib cage move freely. Two more. Last one. And good. Okay. Still here. Bring your one hand a little bit closer under the center of the body. Reach the arm up. We're going to open up the chest. I'm a little stiff right now, so just starting out. And exhale, slide this arm under. Stretch. So you're trying to rotate, rotate your ribcage under yourself and open up your chest try to keep the hips as still as possible ideally so we're moving from the waist up one more time it's just very gentle every time that you're rotating you should be able to go a little bit more do the other side reach the arm out and up and going under as you can see, I'm not going very too low, just a little bit, and up. Just give, telling our body, wake up, please. Time to work. Last one, and under, and up. Good. From here, just take one hand to the edge of the mat. Place the other one a little bit past it. Reach your hips back. You're feeling the stretch going through the side of the body. Try to keep the hips square so they're not following the arms. Keep pushing away, pressing away through the hip. 
Go to the other side, one hand to the edge of the mat, the other one a little bit in front of it. So in this kind of leaning position, push your hips so my right hand is forward. I'm gonna push my right hip back more to really open up my waist, the back of my waist, my QL muscles on the right side. Okay, coming back. Excellent. So our warm-up set is over with and we're gonna start working. So lift yourself up. You're getting up on your knees. Again, make sure if you need something under your knees, feel free to do that. We're gonna open up the arms to the sides first. Pull your stomach in and up. Think about lifting it up, push your hips slightly forward. Your glutes are engaged right where you can maintain this position. So here's, I'm gonna show you, I don't want you sticking your butt out like this. Press it, tailbone down, lifting up, growing taller. Arms open up, and like a story, you're gonna lean to the side and come back center. Just a little lean to the side, check your balance, come back center. And lean, and then back. Now we're staying on this side. We're gonna get started with our side kicks our body kneeling side kicks. You are on, your wrist is under your shoulder, open up your chest so you're not rolling forward, open up your hip, from here then I lift the leg up, right in line with the hip, and lower. The back leg, you can keep your toes curled under, you can keep them down, whatever helps you keep your stability, but our focus is on keeping the torso completely still here, and lift, and lower. You have three more, so we're doing eight. On average, we're going to do six to eight repetitions of each exercise. Good. Lift it up. Hold it here. Side kicks front and back without moving your torso. Flex your foot. Kick the leg forward. Kick. Kick. Point. Go slightly past your center. And again, kick. Kick. And back. We're doing six of this. Kick. And back. Really focus on keeping your torso still so you're not rocking side to side. Three more. Make your waist work like crazy already. Two more. So this is our let's kick it set. Right here, we're gonna find internal rotation. The knee is looking slightly down, but you're still trying to keep your hips in place. The rotation's happening from your femur. From here, up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift it up, circles, still keeping this internal rotation. Six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse. Six, five, four, three, neck is long, two, and one. Good, from here we're gonna go for our hamstring curls. Bring the leg forward, flex your foot, bend at the knee, straighten, bend, and straighten. Also deep stretch for a hamstring. If you can't bring the leg all the way to 90 degrees, bring it back slightly, but you want to bring it as far forward as possible. Two, and a one. Good. Reach it out, arm and leg reach out. Little side um, star preparation. Arm is over your head, you're gonna reach arm and leg out, and lower, and lift. And lower six total four three two and a one good I would say we deserve a little break a little stretch bring your arm back open up your chest to the front you can bring the legs slightly back it's gonna stretch out your hip flexor let your chest open up good Let's come back, the same way that we came in. Whoop. Back to the start, other side. Find your leaning position, reach the leg out, hand goes behind your head, look at your hip, make sure you're all lined up. Let's do lift and lower. Eight, seven. You're reaching out further through the foot every time that you lift. Not letting your hips rock back and forth. 
not letting your waist drop or you, um, yourself sink into the shoulder. Last one. Good. Flex your foot. Foot. We're gonna kick it forward six times. Kick, kick. Point as you go back. Kick, kick. Back. Kick, kick. Back. Three more. I know these guys always get me. I can always feel them in my hips the next day. I guess my body really needs it. Okay, internal rotation. Find your knee looking down, up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep reaching out. Keep that leg long, knee straight, and circle. Six, one direction. Six, five, four, three, two. And a one and six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Good. Find your parallel position, leg in line with the hip, so don't let it drop over here. Bring it forward and hamstring curl. And six, five, flex your foot. Four, three. I know you guys are tired, but just a little bit more. One. Good. Reach it out. Start preparation, reach out, find length all the way through the side body, six times. Lift, five, four, try not to let this leg go forward. I would want to come forward, but keep it in line. Two, and a one. Ah, let's give ourselves a little stretch. Bend the stop leg. Come onto your toes, open up your chest. Go for a little opening over here. Nice hip flexor stretch. Opening for your chest. Good. We're gonna come back, do a little shell stretch. That was the end of our let's kick it set. So if you need to take a break, feel free to pause this video. And if you're done with your rest, we're gonna get started with our superstars set. So I'm gonna flip it over. This is where we're gonna be working with our side support variations. So I'm gonna wrap my mat under so that I feel a little bit more padded on my wrist. You're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be coming up into our full side support or side plank Make sure that your wrist is aligned with your shoulder. Keep your knees slightly bent. Top leg is in front of your bottom one to begin with. And your toes, the toes of your back foot are kind of touching the heel of your front one. You will need it to keep your stability. Let's just try it first. To lift up and see how it feels on your body. Come back down. Now, you have a variation here. You can always bend this bottom leg down and come up like this. This is our modification, so it will take some of that weight off your wrist, and also it will um, make it a little easier. I will be going for a full version, and you pick what works for your body today. Lift it up, arm out. Here we go, find your length, reach out, take an inhale right here on the exhale, drop your hip down, don't touch, look at your fingertips as if you're holding a cup of fruit in your hand, in your palm, Go up and over, round, 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 and down, six total, and up and over. Think your body is stuck between two panes of glass. Keep you pushing the floor away from you so that you don't sink into that shoulder. Two more. Last one. Lower down, little break, bend your knees, go for a little mermaid stretch. We're not done with this side yet. We are going towards our superstar or our star. That's what we're building up for. We're going to lift back up the same way. Lift up, hand behind your head. You can reach it all the way out, but I want you this one straight line out. Uh, so this top leg is the one that's going to be lifting up. My feet are stacked. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five. Keep lengthening that bottom side. Reaching out through the 
crown of your head, reaching out through the bottom leg. Two and one. Okay, we're not done yet. Bring this foot forward. It took some of the pressure off. You're gonna lower and lift back up. Go a little bit past the side plank to feel a good stretch, a little work in your glute over here. Six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Find your plank again. Whoop. Lost my plank there. Lower down, little break. Next one is our full start. Again, feel free to bend that bottom knee if you need to. My legs, my feet are stacked. Knees are slightly bent before I come up, so I have enough room there. Hand comes behind my head first. Open up your chest. Take an inhale. Lift. Whew. All right. Arm behind your head. Wind up as one straight line through the side of your body. And up. And down. We have only six. Four. Try not to let those hips rotate. Two. One. Oh. Should feel like a super surf to finish up this, guys. Okay, stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch. Good. Opening all the way. The side of the body that was at the bottom. Oh, it needs some stretch. Okay. Other side. So you know what's coming. This is our second part of our superstar set. If you need, roll up your mat. Like I will do it first. Find your position, decide if you want that bottom leg to be bent, if you want to straighten. Top leg, top foot in the front, bottom foot in the back. Toes of the bottom one touching your, the heel of the front, just for your stability here. Make sure hand is slightly in front of your shoulder right now, because when you come up, it will even it out. Take an inhale, let's lift up. Just check, check our position. Everything feeling good there? You will find that side plank today. Lift it up, arm out. Here we go, find your length. Reach out, take an inhale right here on the exhale. Drop your hip down, don't touch. Look at your fingertips as if you're holding a cup of fruit in your hand, in your palm. Go up and over, round, 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 round. And down, six total. And up and over. Think your body's stuck between two panes of glass. Keep you pushing the floor away from you so that you don't sink into that shoulder. Two more. Last one. Lower down. Little break. Bend your knees. Go for a little mermaid stretch. We're not done with this side yet. We the next part, we are adding our leg lifts. So this time you're gonna keep your feet stacked. Lift it up. Find your side plank. Again, one line, one diagonal line from the crown of your head all the way out through your heels. Reach out through the heels. Keep that bottom side from sagging down. Lift it up. Push away from the floor. Here we go. I know it's hard to hold it, but it's nice to hold this side plank for a little bit. That's what I'm talking to you guys. And let's go for eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring this leg to the front. The hip drops lower and left. Lower and left. Lower, left. Four, three. Really trying to get a good stretch here. Two. And a one, good. Come down. Whew. Super start coming up. A little stretch, won't hurt. A little mermaid there. All right, let's go for our super start. Remember, do what your body is asking you to do. If you need to take a break, feel free to do that. But we are working through it. Find your side plank, lengthen out. Arms over your head, we have six, 
six, five, four, three. Lift on the as high as we can. Two, and a one. Whew. Excellent. Go down. Go for a mermaid stretch. You deserved it. Now that's the end of our superstar stretch. As I promised you, we all have one more set. Set number four is going to be our creepy set. So before we go into that, let's give ourselves a little break. If you feel like you had enough, just end your workout here. Stretch forward. You're going to feel a good, yummy stretch in your glutes over there. Stretch it out. Walk your hands a little bit to one side. Walk your hands to the other side. Let's go up. Alright, so our creepy set is going to be spiders and snakes and twists. So we're going to have plank spiders. And that's why I call it creepy because most people are not big fans of either snakes or spiders. And that's what we're going to be working on. And they're going to be tough, but they're going to be good for our body. Let's get adjusted. Hands under your uh, shoulders. Now, for the spiders, if you need to go down on your elbows, you can do that. Push away, make your upper body nice and strong. Take an inhale, walk out into your plank. Find your perfect plank, reach out through the crown of your head. Reach out through the heels, just give it a little hold here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, keep reaching out, keep lengthening out on each count, three, two, one, yeah, little stretch, little break, building up on it, walk out into your plank, lift the leg up, go to the side, come back, center, up, side, back, Center as the leg goes to the side. You're trying to keep your hips as still as possible. Up, center. One more each side. Side, center, back, up, side, center, back. Next one up are spiders. So the knee is going to be coming up towards your shoulder. We're not trying to touch the shoulder necessarily, just moving in that direction. I'm going to roll my back in. My wrist is slightly better on this concrete floor. Let's go. Okay, finding our plank. Lift the leg up from here. Pull it in. Out and in. Now, if it's too much, go down on your knees. And here you can do spider on the knees. Just make sure you're trying to keep that plank. That way are all the way up, pushing the floor away, and in, and out, down. I don't know about you guys, but I'm dripping over here. My upper body is really feeling one more each side. And good rest. Creepy spiders are over with. Whew. And it's time for the snake. Now, if you've done Pilates, advanced Pilates, you know the exercise snake and twist on the reformer. But then I do a modification, a variation of that on the floor. We're going to go slow first and feel free to watch me on this first one and then we're going to do another one together. So, bring your leg out. We're going to come up first on, into like your elephant, your pipe. Now, I'm going to be bringing my leg out. So, the one that's going to be at the top, here's the foot is pointed towards the camera for me. And that's going to be my supporting leg. So if you put it the other way, it's going to feel really awkward. The other leg is going to wrap under. So this is your position. 
from here you're gonna lean forward try to squeeze wrap your legs around look one side look the other side come back and focus on squaring your hips out so let's do it together again place your foot find a good stability here it's also a good stretch wrap your toes under you're touching the floor but you're not really putting a lot of weight on it even out your hips as much as possible lean forward you're gonna lift up onto your toes in the back over there look one side yeah me twist look the other side come up one more time like this then we can progress it there's a snake looking back snake looking back now we're gonna try to add a twist again watch me if you need to try to even out your hips we're going forward one hand is going to come a little bit more center bring the arm up so that's the same leg that's my support from here then i drop the hip down look back lift through the hip reach back try to even out your hips make sure that your hip uh, your mat is not slippery reach out twist down look at your fingertips right there up and over reach back and bring the hand down and twist go down on your knees rest before we continue all this greatness on the other side up and all fours, lift up into your pipe, the lab, the foot that's going to be kind of at the top, you're going to point it forward, the other one wraps under it, even out your hips just to feel, and it's also a good stretch if you push back into that supporting leg, if you feel a good stretch in your hip joint here, and let's shift forward. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, seeking to adjust yourself. Wrap your toes, come up on to your toes. Snake, look to one side, look other side. Lift it back up, even out your hips, or try to even them out as much as possible. Then do one more time like this. And forward. Feel your spine working as a snake as you move forward. One side, look the other side, come back up. One more, and then we're going to try to add that arm. Now you can stay in this one and skip the single arm twist. Go forward so your hips drop, your chest opens up, it's really important. Move your hand, reach up and over, drop your hip down, look down. So this is kind of like our side support. Go up. And over, oops. And try to even out your hips. It's much harder with a single arm. Reach out, further out. Open up. Drop down. Put your fingertips up. Go back. One more time. the final one just for good measure. Drop the hip, keep looking down. Stay strong in your arm. Try to even out your hips. Place both hands down, unwrap. Let's go down and sit back for your rest. So that's it. Our creepy set is over. Our snakes and spiders. Our full body workout is over. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you you're feeling it in your entire body as I am, as I do right now. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you want to see any other workouts in the future, any 
things, any body parts, anything like that, comment below the video so I know what to shoot for you in the future and subscribe to the channel so that you can stay tuned with all of those free workouts coming your way really soon. See you soon. Bye.